This is kind of a stunt project I did, uh, a partial restoration of a Stunko grinder, a Russian machine. As you can see, I have the long account back here on the saddle, and it proved to be high in the ends, and the table the opposite, high in the middle. And um, the table was also then, in addition, very badly pitted, which uh, we took down with the grinder, but really it wasn't uh, worth, worth taking it down altogether. So anyway, uh, I started off with the bikes, of course. I think it was 9 p.m., and then ended... Uh, somewhere between 3 and, and 4 a.m. So it was kind of a stern project. But we managed uh, to get it uh, decently flat and uh, covering all over. So I think uh, on longer pieces now, uh, the precision will be better than it was. So that was the scope of the project, really. So here it goes. Nei, den døde i timen senere, så er jeg nesten i hele marsjen ny over alt, vet du. Ja, det er ikke mye. shorter than uh, the saddle and uh, I think uh, what has happened here on this machine is that it's been used for shorter parts so it's dug a, a hole here and on the same mating part the table is bowed because it was high in the middle it was high here and uh, the way to um, they ground it was that they put it on uh, the area points first and then me measured and then of course sewn the whole uh, uh, table put it onto the magnet then ground and then we ground this one first so that we ensure that this was flat at the top of the table and then the same operation just uh, dressed the a 45 degree on the on the um, wheel the ways are ground as you can see and uh, it's taken down six hundreds of a millimeter still some scoring left and worse here uh, however uh, to avoid uh, problems with the gearing the manual rack feed and also avoid to take it too much down i think the owner decided to leave it as is uh, possibly take this maybe we can take it up to a tenth of a millimeter but anyway and then ground one part and then flip it over and then ground the other flip the wheel over I mean so ensuring that you have alignment all over that would have been trickier of course with uh, more setup and more time on the uh, if I should scrape it and this keep in mind this was an operation starting at nine o'clock in the evening and well we ended up roughly four in the morning and uh, the user or the owner I'd like to leave it as is now, so it was only a part restoration, really. As we now know, but these are are flat, and I've tried it with a table on, so we have uh, pretty much uh, we are pretty much where we want to be with relations to having kept the uh, the original geometry, and um, 
and maybe we will take the in and out ways, but because of all the mechanical complexity with the hydraulics and everything, he doesn't want to do this now. And then also the head uh, bearings here are okay and uh, adjusted, so we are all the let's say gibs and stuff, but they still want to exchange some part of the set axis here. Uh, I think the bearing on top of the the screw there. So it's hard to see in here, but I think uh, this uh, looks okay. One key point here when we have wheel base like this is the fact that in this case a 45 degree wheel way um, <clears throat> that if you take down this for instance one hundredth of a millimeter and you do the same there and there this will go down of course twice first you go down one there and then another one there same applies here of course but a little bit different still taking this down one instead of taking that down there you of course work parallel so for each time you take that in one pass and you go one pass there that goes down roughly 70% of that and here 70% so 1.4 times this for each pass so keep that in mind. of course um, starting such a project to find the original geometry uh, and maintain that is of utmost importance and one way to when we started here we saw that it was uh, as I said bowed like this so um, you know, the table was high in the middle and this was the opposite it was uh, hollow here so it only touched at the extremities here and the most worn part was actually the, um, the front way over here so that decided how long we should or far we should go down and uh, I tried to scrape straight down and uh, put the straight edge on here and verify of course and the, the correct way to measure the exact uh, wear is of course to, to put shims so equal thickness under the area points here and here and then measure and then to measure with feeling edges underneath and we came out at 400 for this and a little bit more for the front wheel way uh, then i started scraping straight down however per textbook i guess what we could have done if so if you had a, a, a king way of course was to measure run this and then uh, you run it with um, I guess with the cylinder here put the cylinder here and then this on top and then you can measure with the, with the um, level on top and then traverse it or use a king way of course have a king way yet but uh, uh, and also because as i said this has to be done had to be done within the course of that night we um, we ended up at least just scraping it straight down and i must say um, the geometry was not far off as we ended so i had um, yeah. by uh, careful attention to details managed to scrape it this one flat with the same number of of uh, iterations roughly between 25 and 30 iterations and uh, managed to keep the same as said the ratio so one and then this would go down 1.4 times faster uh, uh, so you have to take that into account uh, however because of let's say constraints with the with how to scrape we could get it was hard to get comfortably down here because this kept you know so even though we, we moved this back and forth i ended up with the um, hand scraping more or less this piece so here
So I ended up with hand scraping this instead. That was pretty much the easier solution. So therefore, um, keeping the ratio one, little 1 1.4 down, and then <laughs> taking it in account, this was uh, more or less uh, power scraped, this was more or less hand scraped. This some part, and uh, guess by luck and also by by some ingenuity, we we managed to keep it the same, so we didn't tip it in either direction. And um, taking it also straight down meant that we didn't misalign it in that way. Um, but admittedly, I should have had a kingway in use, so I could do this more often. But uh, as we see, we'll see with the table on it, it proved okay. And um, as you can see, I think it's convenient to get this level because then I can much easier hinge the part here instead of troubling with holding the straight edge. Let this fall by gravity onto the surface here. And it has, uh, this is off the grounding, but it has uh, some room for improvement. And the way we did this, of course, uh, on the grinder was to first prove the table. And this was, uh, we installed it and then we laid it on the area points. And we proved the top surface. And then also then ground this. this and then most important of course we got these into relation then with with this also then proved it we cropped it to this surface here so thereby we ensure that it was in alignment on this axis and, and this no, sorry that plane and in this plane and here I have a really little bit in the middle. First of all, to see if I got good contact on each side. And then afterwards, after taking this down the same amount, I can then see if this fits in. But also, uh, to feel it was a little bit higher in the middle and then now it hinges better. So it was probably uh, well, a very slight amount high in the middle. Same on this one. But now I can scrape it down so it all becomes flat without, well, with good chances of not altering, altering the, the, the geometry again. Um, and um, there is a manual rack feed. Like here. So we, when taking it down, this was 600 and the other one 
stable 600s, so 1.2 uh, tenths or 12 hundredths of a millimeter down. Maybe this will bind, but then we'll have to adjust that by either grinding it a little bit down or putting the gear, uh, which locates here, further down. The same with the, um, with the bearings for the hydraulic cylinder here. Adjusting this down, uh, but here is a uh, quite quite slop also. So, and the gear we could, uh, of course, do just this bit down. And of course, it's much much easier now to work with. So, comfort is everything, and you can work much easier with having it tilted up like this instead of having to fight it, especially when hinging, of course, with the straight edge, but also when working. Could have also preferably got it a bit higher, but that's okay. with which you can feel now since it rests on by gravity on the on the way and the hinge it it's much easier than if you had to fight it at some points though of course i can't get all the way down with the scoring but i can improve it by scraping still so but i want to keep to have this down first in the middle Also, because most of the time you probably are using it um, in the middle, and since this will wear a hollow here in the in the saddle, and uh, uh, con conversely, then making this a little bit high in the middle again, I have some some to go up. I mean, a little bit more time before this um, this uh, hits and then um, roughly one third no i don't say that here if you see it now you see it that was already flat from before but now no Four or five passes down, it starts to be decent, actually. Still some scoring marks even here, but uh, they are too deep to get totally rid of, so. So this is after moving up with the table as a master and uh, applying not too thick blue. So we can see that it's fairly okay as a start. Well, a little bit more in the middle. Uh, that's surprisingly good, really. And then a little bit less here. So I and it looks a little bit tilted. So I will take down just the front and leave this. Just don't do anything with the blue. See if it comes in. If I give this a uh, scraping part here. And um, yeah, fairly pleased. <laughs> 